Hey everyone, so today we're going to be making the famous I'm Not Daredevil shirt worn by the man himself, Matthew Murdock. Now you can see our favorite lawyer wearing it in Daredevil Volume 3, Issue Number 7. I call this a $5 Daredevil shirt because the shirt only did cost me 5 bucks, while the rest of the supplies that I needed for the DIY were already things I had. If you don't have multi-surface white paint or a sponge brush, you could easily get these items at a craft store or a dollar store or even Walmart. So the first step that we're going to need to do is make the stencil. So open up a Word document and type out in big letters, I'm not Daredevil. So shown here is the font that I used and the two different font sizes that I thought best replicated the size and the font style on the shirt. So once you're done with that, go ahead and print those pages out and then we can start making the stencil. At this stage, it might look like a complete mess and that's totally okay because once we get them all taped up and cut out, it's gonna be so cool by the end of this video. Step number three is basically cutting everything out and taping it together to make the stencil. This little DIY is basically for anybody who's a big fan of Daredevil or for any cosplayers out there. When you're cutting and taping everything out, just make sure that all the letters are even and straight. You don't want any wonky letters when you're doing your stencil and you're painting and you notice that one letter is slightly lower than the rest of them. Once all that cutting and taping is done, you should have something that looks like this. The next step is getting out the X-Acto knife and cutting out all the letters. This step will take some time, so go ahead and turn on Netflix, go ahead and binge watch some Defenders, or rewatch the entire two seasons of Marvel's is Daredevil. When you're cutting out letters like A, O, R, or D, make sure to leave a small tab connecting the inner bit to the page so it keeps the inside part of the letter intact when you're stenciling. So after taping down the t-shirt and finding the perfect placement, you can go ahead and get your sponge and your paint and just start painting away. You're not using a paintbrush, so don't use strokes. Just dab the sponge brush. Now depending on how much paint you put in your first coat, you may need to do two or three more to make sure the paint is really nice and bright and bold. I did two layers and then I went in with a smaller brush, which you could also do, to um, fix up any small little things and to also cover up the little tabs that I talked about before. And once you're done with the painting process, go ahead and remove the stencil, whip out a fan like what I'm doing, or a hairdryer to speed up the drying process, and there it is. You're done your Daredevil shirt. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it was fun to watch and I hope it was inspiring. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, make sure to comment, and make sure to share this video with your fellow Daredevil lovers. See you later my dudes, until next time.